All right, now that I have finally shaved my unibrow, welcome to the Out of Fluff podcast with your host, me, Fluffy. Not going to say like my name anymore or anything like that, dude. Fuck all that, bro. Y'all just call me Fluffy. That's it. That's all it is. It's fucking dumbass camera still doing this shit, though. All right. Damn, dude. So... Boy, what episode we on, like, episode 13. Yeah, we're on episode 13. Dude, this episode, I actually recorded this episode last week. What's today? The 20, the 22nd? Uh, two weeks ago? <laughs> I, but I actually recorded it almost two weeks ago for uh, One Piece Day. But the problem was my voice was kind of going in and out. So I'm going to make sure that I kind of don't move my mouth away from the mic that much. We're going to see how that goes though. But either way, man, we still going to talk about some one piece. And then honestly, I don't know where we're going to go from there. So yeah, I have no idea, bro. But first things first, of course, man, we got to go ahead and start off with the quick life update. All right. Um, What's we're in the month of August? Uh, oop. uh, what, what should I go ahead and start off with? First things first, um, your boy started doing Uber because poor, <laughs> yeah, man, fucking poor as shit, dog. So, started doing Uber. And I'm mainly still going to be doing my podcast and stuff like that. I had to put my more gaming stuff to the side for right now. So I can mainly focus on the podcast as I'm doing Uber. So yeah, but I'm not going to give up on it. I still have my game concepts and I have two different game design documents. So eventually I'll get back to that over time when I have more money. Cause I'm still, I still want to start my own studio, bro. It's happening, bro. I'm going to make my fucking party MMO, which actually I want to talk about MMOs later on, but yeah, dog, what the fuck else has been happening with my life? Uh, and that's really about it, man. I was supposed to go to Tampa this weekend. I was actually supposed to fly out of a day of what is tomorrow. Man, nah, man, I'm not doing it. I actually changed my whole flight to Seattle in like April. But just know them bitches is first class though. Riding in first class there on the way back. I don't know. Nah, on the way back, it's going to be comfort. I'm not going to upgrade them seats, dude. Fuck that shit. Talking about I have to pay you extra. $50. I already paid y'all motherfuckers. And plus my ticket value went down because I paid 1200 and my tickets went down to a thousand. So fuck y'all. Delta. Fuck Delta. Bitch ass motherfuckers. Get that straight. Stupid ass Delta. But it's probably on me. I thought the dude, I thought this whole time that the fucking insurance that y'all get, right? So whenever you buy a plane ticket, they'd be like, Oh, do you want to insure this shit? And I was like, Yeah, of course, Brad, why not? So I can make sure. So good thing that I did insure it because I wasn't going to be able to go back when I wanted to go back at that part. Something like that. Yeah. Basically, I got minus two hundred dollars. I even go anywhere, bro. I'm already down two hundred. I have no idea. This shit is this shit is wild, bro. This shit is wild. Then on top of that. Nah, that's really about it. I mean, for complaint wise. It's been pretty nice, though. My girl hasn't been working, so she's just been here chilling. So it's been pretty nice of having more time to actually spend with my girl. It's pretty cool. Uh, then on top of that, um, nothing else. Just air, bruh. Not gonna lie to y'all. That's right, probably because I forgot. So, I don't know. Anyways, I think that's a cool little update. Oh, my dog. My boy Boost. Everybody give a round of applause.
Boots finally nutted. About to get them colors tested. So, um, y'all just let me know, man. If y'all got a female Frenchie out there that's looking for some swimmers, y'all let me know. All right. And throw that bitch in the comments for all I care. And then we'll go from there. All right. So my boy Boots. I'll show a picture of him. But my boy Boots. His sperm about to cost like a cool 1500 Pops. He hasn't gotten tested yet. We don't know if he's gay or straight yet. So we're going to find out eventually. I bet that motherfucker gay though. Not going to lie. Shit. I feel weird like that. So yeah, man. Hey, hey that's it for the updates, honestly, man. Because uh, other than that, I've just been I've been watching a whole bunch of new animes and shit. And honestly, bro, these isekai anime, y'all need to calm down or get creative of uh, in a better way somehow. Get creative because I'm getting tired of seeing these um isekai animes look like mmos and that's all that it feels like it just feels like they went into a world now they're a wizard or a swordsman assassin or some shit like that which actually the finest assassin is pretty good to watch i recommend it it's not bad just let y'all know if i was to give it a score soft rips I'll do a little review later, but it's cool. Like six, seven. I think about uh, rewatching it from time to time. Like some animes, I feel like I got to rewatch because I don't know, man. And, you know, sometimes it, it doesn't. It's one of the, sometimes some animes are just some of those that you have to rewatch like at least one time. Like if it was, if it's good, you got to rewatch it like one time man. you just just once to make sure that if you've forgotten anything or if you change like your mind on the score and you know something like that or on the other hand like if you uh how can i say it uh uh are feeling it yeah if you're feeling it if you're floating if you feel like you're flowing, feeling flowing, floating with feeling, something like that, figure it out one day. I'll figure it out. But yeah, man, you can have a whole different opinion about it, honestly. So I don't know. I also think that not enough people watch anime whenever they are, you know, feeling floaty, feeling floaty. Yeah, when you're feeling floaty. Ah, I don't know why I like that. I do like that. I do. I, I really do. <laughs> but yeah, man. So yeah, whenever you're feeling floaty, man, more people should definitely be watching anime. Anime and cartoons, especially like Spongebob. I'm on about like my fourth time rewatching Spongebob right now. Well, second time on Amazon Prime. Which, if y'all don't know, Spongebob up to season, like, 12 is free on Prime. Either that or somehow my dogs paid all the way up for season 12. So, I got that. Because I never bought that shit. And I'd be damned. I'm actually lying. I probably would buy it, though. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. But still. But back to the main point, yeah. You, some people, man, you just... I don't know, man. You know, some people just need to try out some animes whenever they feeling it. Like, honestly, when you when you're feeling floaty, right? Watch One Piece dub, boy. Some people gonna be. I don't care for like the whole it's long and blah blah blah. Dog, when you feeling floaty. Watch One Piece English dub. I'm telling you right now, bro. 
that shit is fucking hilarious dude the little faces all the little bullshit that they just kind of put into it and then like the english like english actual like voice actors and they're like talking in english like bro dude it's it's pretty fucking funny it's it's a good watch all right just let y'all know it's it's a pretty good watch man just watch it that's it or right, just come on do it <laughs> yeah did right feeling this fucking pen dude but then again i think it's because i probably drunk half of a half a can does that make sense so a quarter maybe i drunk a quarter i ain't talked to eddie though i don't think i got any eddies but i did have the can though and i drunk half of that half or i feel like i drunk half of that half i took four gulps so whatever that equates to man, that's a big word equate crazy i don't even think i use that bitch right <laughs> probably did but dude yeah man and one piece right now if for spoiler alert all right so i don't get no bullshit about people spoiler alert i'm a nigga that reads so your boy's been reading a one piece manga and egghead egghead has been fucking lit boy and i can't wait until it's animated i'm actually watching egghead on netflix not right now but give me about you know an hour or two i'm gonna be in there watching it because this shit's actually pretty good dude the animation is just flawless like and it's hard to say that it's like flawless though like it's hard to say flawless for something right y'all know what i mean but it's just like up there dog it's really up there and they did a really good job with it proud of them i'm happy i am a huge one piece fan um you can't tell right now because uh <coughs> I ain't got no fucking one piece shit that's like there. I got some that's like up, but I don't feel like moving my camera, bro. I'm not trying to do all that. And y'all probably already seen it before too, and y'all I probably already know. But for the people that don't, I like One Piece, man. I like One Piece a lot. It's really good, dude. I actually have uh my favorite characters from One Piece. Man. All the fluffy motherfuckers, bro. Y'all <sighs> kind of question, dog chopper? 100 percent one of my favorites motherfucker is adorable and funny brooke brooke is just brooke brooke is like their uncle dog brooke is onk bro you can't not like onk like onk is just onk like i know what i mean like bro he's just he and for the people that don't know what onk means your uncle like your favorite uncle like that one uncle that's just always like you know with the vibes and everything bro like he's like he he's he's usually always just like with it, bro he's we we all like unk so yeah bro and then last but not least uh gotta throw god d usopp and that bitch 100 percent and i think that is um very self explanatory so if there's any questions about god d usap um i don't know uh, go ask some other fucking guantanamo bay or some shit bro somebody that don't know one piece because what god d usap will find the one piece guy d usopp is captain of the straw hats he just lets luffy just wear that straw hat for fun but he's the real captain and that's on boots's mom because i mean shit Oh, shit, this camera moving a lot. 
Well, I'm not gonna stand here like a fucking statue. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? But yeah, man. Dude. Like, I wonder if, um, what's her face is actually gonna be a part of the crew now, though. Uh, she was number two. Um, Lilith? I wonder if Lilith is going to be a part of the crew. I already feel like Bonnie is going to be a part of the crew. And that's just all for the sheer fact that um, she basically is now found out that Luffy is Nika. And I'm not going to get into that whole backstory. If y'all know who Nika is or not or whatever. Now, I feel like now Bonnie is definitely going to be sticking more with Luffy could probably potentially just join the straw hats you gotta remember she is a 12 year old girl i don't think she really is would care for the actual like keeping her crew or whatever with her as much because she's a 12 year old girl i mean come on now look they're they're kids she's gonna she's she's most likely gonna want to follow luffy so that is my prediction i feel like bonnie is going to be the next straw hat and i wouldn't be mad at it right Dude, that'd be hilarious two gluttony motherfuckers and then having sanji basically like choosing uh bonnie over uh luffy for like feeding him like luffy would start just getting scraps just because bonnie will be eating all the food it would be hilarious honestly it like the little filler episodes in between like the arcs where they're like going and shit like that. Like it it would be funny to see. So I I hope that she's actually going to be a part of the crew. Dude, that would be fucking cool. Um Lilith, dude. She's the fucking she's the last Vegapunk except for York, but York really York York is too lazy to really even give a fuck about, honestly. Like York, York just wants to do nothing with her life, bro. So, really, I see it as it's just mainly Lilith is kind of, you know, this is the last Vegapunk. And it's evil, and it's evil Vegapunk. So, of course, like, it will make sense if she was to join with the pirates, like with the Straw Hat pirates. Because she will be seen as evil, and plus they were going to be plotting to kill her anyways. So it would just make sense for her to just stay with the Straw Hats. She has nowhere else to go anyways. Makes sense. And dude, Frankie, my my fucking my fucking friend brought it up, but like Frankie will now get some like fucking new like tech. And honestly, to me, Frankie. He, he wasn't struggling until he got to Egghead. Like, bro, let's be honest. Bro's fight in Wano was not that much of a struggle. We like, come on. I feel like I gotta turn my mic down. Like, come on now. Let, like, let's be real here. His fight in Wano <clears throat> against that commander or whatever the fuck his name is, the uh, dinosaur motherfucker with the green hair, like, bro, he, that wasn't much of a struggle and it didn't look like it was much of a struggle for Frankie, bro. Camera, stop. Bitch. Oh. So, yeah, man. Dude, that would be fucking cool. That would be dope as fuck. Usopp would get a better fucking slingshot. My boy. Imagine if, like, Vegapunk made it to where he can have, uh, his his like slingshot could like change from it being like oh like more of like a like a machine type of gun or like he can do it like fast to like it would change to like a sniper mode to where he can like snipe motherfuckers just easy dude that'll be dope that'll be hella dope I'm telling y'all right now that'll be dope but yeah man i don't know now, I am saying all this, and I don't think that I read the latest chapter. The last chapter I read was, 
thousand one hundred and twenty three. I don't know if twenty four came out or not. So I don't know. But man, dude, I'm telling y'all right now, that shit would be wild. It'll be it'll be so great. And then I wanna know also as well where Law and Beppo was gonna end up at. Or like where did they go? Like there could be a chance that they end up coming back together. But I don't think so. I wouldn't I wouldn't think that. I don't think Law and Luffy are gonna come back together. They already spent since dress rosa together all the way from like wano come on out dude that's way too much time and and them for not and them to not be a part of the straw hat crew no that's that's way too much time bro i don't know about that but i just want to know if like i want to see if law ends up getting like captured by the marines like oh there was like marines that was nearby or some shit he ends up getting captured or something like that or just something just like random that nobody would like think of. And it's like, damn. There you go. I'm waiting for I want to see how the the new one piece is the the one piece. I want to see how that is. I hope that it's going to be good. I know that they're going to take out all the funny shit that happened and especially in the English dub. Like they're gonna take all that out. Dude, they're gonna get rid of all that. Whack. But they are making everything shorter. I just hope that they actually make sure that they keep like that funny goofiness throughout it though. So I don't know. And I wonder if uh season two live action is gonna be coming out pretty soon. I haven't watched it yet. I kinda wanna see I will go all the way up to the end of Alabasta. Like before Skypea. I want to see how they condense all that shit. So I I don't think that they'll complete Alabasta in season two. Or that would be crazy. Because I feel like they'll be missing a whole bunch. A whole bunch. So I don't know. We gonna find out. Oh, let me find out. Oh, and question for y'all uh, in the comments before we get off of this One Piece topic. Um, do y'all consider either Vivi, okay, Yamato? Uh, yeah, those two, Vivi and Yamato, as also a part of the Straw Hats. Let me know. Let me know if y'all think them two are still a part of the Straw Hats crew. Or are actually a part of the Straw Hats crew. Dude. Did I make myself cross-eyed? I don't think I did. I think I just looked down. <laughs> Damn. I don't think I can make myself cross-eyed. I don't know how people do it. I don't know, man. But dude, that's just crazy. But on to the next thing, man. You know, I wanted to talk about. I had to take off my Crocs, man. I felt my, my feet were sweating. Let me shake my feet a little bit right quick. Get some wind on them bitches. All right. I think that's good enough. But yeah, man. Next topic that I wanted to talk about was definitely uh, MMOs just in like general, man. And how we just, bro, we, how can I put it? We need to get more creative in this space. Dude, there's, I feel like there's so much that we can do. And it's just not happening, bro. We keep making these same MMOs that are just a little bit different. Or it's just different enough for people to be like, okay, let me try this out. Like, and I know like some people are going to be like, blah, blah. On whatever the fuck that they say. But hear me out right quick. All right. I am honestly getting tired of these same like type of roles 
and stuff inside of these MMOs. Like these fucking, oh, you have like tanks or there's always like a berserker or like a paladin or there's always like a, a ranger that's like an archer that somehow turns into a fucking gunslinger or like you have fucking mages or priests, which are personally my favorite. Yeah, that's me. I'm the motherfucker that be trying to heal y'all niggas. Y'all are ass. And it's just, bro, like, you you have, like, these same classes, and it feels like through all of it. Like, even in Throne and Liberty, it's still structured, even though it's just based off of weapons. Dude, it's still structured in the same way. Like, you feel like you're playing as a paladin with, like, a sword and shield, and if you have a wand at the same time, bro, it's, it just feels like you're playing as a paladin. Or if I just go double wand, there we go. Like, boy, I'm a fucking healer. Like, it's, it's, I, you kind of get tired of it. And then you kind of, then it's always the same missions of the missions where it's like, you grind, kill 50 enemies. Now go talk to this person to pick up this item. And then you completed your quest, but that quest is connected to that other quest. But it's all the same fucking story and shit and blah, 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 dude. It is. It's just, a, it's on repeat of killing mobs, talk to somebody, give item, go kill mobs again. And it's just, it, it scatters itself through the quest like that. And that's just how it feels. And sometimes it throws in some uh, crafting quests, but they most of the time just throw that to the side when it's like, bro, nobody wants to be doing these repeat quests. Like, at least y'all can to make it like different y'all can add in some of these what y'all would consider side quests into the main quest just cuz bro it's just 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 cuz there would be no reason at all just try it out see how it goes it shouldn't really be bad i mean you can just make a story just have it to where it, you can look easy bro this shit is easy because the story is already written for y'all dumbasses. Just pick a fucking isekai anime and there you fucking go. Where you're a fucking, you spawned in, now you go to the Adventurers Guild and what you do there is that you complete quests to gain up your ranks and shit like that. But you know, there's always some fucking story. You gotta go kill the fucking Demon King. Like, bro, the Demon King could be a raid. All these little, there's actual dungeons that they can go into because the quest will have dungeons. So you can end up spawning in different dungeons so people don't just grind the same dungeon over and over again. There's actually different dungeons because you programmed it like, like fucking idiots, bro. Or, I don't know, man. Is, 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 it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Like, is all these games just feel like they're the same? Like they play the same? Like, make it, make it different. Make it to where you can still, like, go through it, or with whatever the fuck that uh that company did to where they made it to where their server can hold so many fucking people. And then, like, there's no loading screen or anything like that. Like, you're just going throughout the whole fucking shit. Um, I don't know why they can't just make something like that. Make it to where all the players are basically either doing economy bullshit, which will also teach niggas how to actually run an economy and make an actual successful business and bullshit like that. Or you go out and actually adventure and being a an adventurer and then basically trying to get the chance to slay the demon king or you could try to fucking run a kingdom bro like i don't know maybe that's just a little bit too big for motherfuckers to make but like nigga you got time maybe not the money but like I don't know, man. It just seems like some of some of this shit could just uh, if like an actual 
big company was to have it, they could do it. But I don't know, man. It's it's just some bullshit, man. That's some straight bullshit. And I, I probably just think a little bit too different for some people. Like one of the games that I really want to make or help make or be a part of in any type of way or just fucking being able to play it is like a fucking party like how can i put it think about like mario party but in an mmo version where you're not going around killing enemies or some shit like that or whatever it's just basically like your your quest is just basically you're going up to like a whole bunch of different places and stuff like that and then you'll just be doing mini games that's really it don't have it to where it's like you're attacking people you can just have it to where it's like it's like mini games and then you're having to play basically through a whole bunch of mini games and stuff like that to be able to get up to you know i guess be whoever the king is or the evil person or basically the fucking the main evil guy the main villain to meet up to him to beat him and then that's like you know that's basically going through the story but of course it's an mmo so you need all the different like you know biomes and stuff like that which will determine what different games that you will have to be playing there it's just kind of really that simple and then you have a storyline that will basically guide you through going through going through those games and that's really what it is like it'd be going up like it could it can take a sense from like the story uh no game no life it can have a similar to like that story and like there you go dude that would be fun as fuck to have to have to play or since i'm a fucking talked about it earlier a one piece mmo would be fucking dope and you start off at the four different uh seas and then you have to get to the grand line and then that's when you will meet everybody that's from the other seas and you will go through the grand line and shit like that and then that's where like the main chunk of like late game content would you know mainly come from because then you can add in like the different islands and stuff like that for people to go to and then do quests and stuff and you already know all these different arcs and all these different islands and if they if they actually fully pay attention you can have some of these islands that have been destroyed that even people can like go to for any type of like fights and stuff like that so yeah man dude a one piece mmo would be great they can do so much shit with it bro and then like while you're on the ship as well you can be doing like what would be the job class of your choosing which is like you know sanji's cooking or nami with like helping with navigation and stuff like that you know basically what their other like main roles is can be that character's like job class and then on top of that i mean you can collect a crew or you can just ride solo basically like i'm gonna put kind of like see if these but in a way see if these see if these is fun but see if these doesn't really feel you know it wouldn't feel the same as like a one piece mmo so yeah so i know some people can be like you be saying oh we have sea of thieves but nah man nah And then you can also have your different classes. So I'm just saying like you can be a regular regular human and then you can choose whichever hockey that you want to go into. Or you can do uh or you can get a devil fruit. But the thing with the devil fruits i feel like personally to make the game interesting and having to 
force people into a challenge, I say have it a big slew, a big fucking list of devil fruits and then having them choose it. Not having them choose it, but it'll be a random. It'll be like a random devil fruit that they'll be able to get. And like you can have it to where it's like you can have 64 different devil fruits and do that would be dope. That would be really dope to have. And then you can just put in a system to where you just want to get like another devil fruit, but you can be able to choose whatever devil fruit that you would want to uh, want to have. But yeah, and then of course, like they already have like all the moves and everything, but dude, a one piece MMO would be so fucking lit. I would probably be stuck to my chair playing it for probably about like a good uh, minimum, minimum. 18 hours minimum 18 hours of playing it on day one release boy that shit would be so fucking fun ah. yeah because then you have to go through the whole thing of like fighting whoever the fuck in like the different islands or you can have it to where you have to go through the different seas first and then end up to the grand line but yeah yeah because y'all can do that because then the grand line could be like the dlc more content but that dlc content is going to be huge that shit would be crazy like imagine alabasta's like going into the grand line of course alabasta will probably be first but like first dlc would be like skypea then you'll get to like uh to that marine fucking base no it wasn't a no 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 you'll get to like whatever the fuck they were doing in uh water seven i don't i don't think that the snow place where we got chopper i forgot what it's called um i don't think that's really really like cared for i guess like yeah you can go there because it is a main point in the story like of course like chopper is like a huge like point but for like the actual game i don't see like you could put it in there but i don't see like much time being spent there just because alabasta is just like that important and like that big so yeah man i don't know man y'all get look i'm giving y'all niggas game Y'all can take it or not, but that shit better be in the works and it better be good. I don't, the, the last thing that I will want is basically just saying like some, uh, the bullshit. <clears throat> of, oh, like you have to pick either your, uh, um, you either you have to be a pirate or you have to be a uh a marine or anything like that like i don't want i don't want to create the character and them already being placed in that spot like i want to be able to create the character and then choose whether i want to be a pirate or a marine because it's either one of those bro and then the pvp will probably be crazy Imagine a PvP where it's like y'all fighting out on the sea or a PvP where you're uh where you're like fighting on like punk hazard or you're that'd be fucking dope. Fighting on punk hazard. Or like you're fighting on fucking um on like uh Dress Rosa fighting in Wano. That'd be fucking lit. I think Thriller Bark would be lit to fight on as well. But yeah, man. Do that. That'd be fucking dope. I'm telling y'all. One Piece MMO. Bring it. Bring it. Then don't bullshit it either, bruh. We don't need no bullshit at one. Alright. We need that shit to be spot on peak.
Y'all would make so much money too. That shit can be a pay to win and nobody would give a fuck. I'm letting y'all know that. No, nobody would give a fuck that that shit is pay to win just because it'll be one piece. And if y'all make it fun, then it has to be fun. Or nobody's really going to be playing it. So yeah. Fun, a fun one piece MMO. Dude, so many people would be fucking playing that. that and they would be playing it for decades. Like that shit, that would be kind of like a wow, like killer. Hate to say it, but dude, imagine, cause it can get like deep. It can, it can get pretty deep. It won't get like a, it could get like a skill tree deep as like Path of Exile, but I feel like that would be a little bit too much. Especially for like a uh, an MMO, but skill tree like Diablo, one hundred percent, bro. One hundred percent. You wouldn't even get that skill tree until after you become either a pirate or a marine. Just throw that shit out there because then that would determine the different skills. But yeah, man, that shit would be lit. I really want it to happen. I just want MMOs. Just to be more creative so they can be more fun. Garden of Liberty wasn't created enough for me. But I will be playing it because I do want to do guild PvP. I do not want to be a leader of a guild. But I do want to be a part of a guild. And for any Throne of Liberty niggas. Just, just go ahead and put the comment of your guild name. If you got space, put it down there. I might even like fucking uh record some content and stuff like that. But oh, before I end this, because this actually that was the last thing I'm, I was talking about, dude. It's just one piece of MMOs, bro. That's not that's it. But before we get off of here, of course, please, if you made it to this point, 43 minutes, if you haven't already liked, subscribe, go ahead and go ahead and do that for me all right go ahead don't be scared but and on top of that uh i am gonna make a patreon is actually under review right now and it will be more of stuff that is kind of like way more out of pocket and stuff like that it'll, it'll be like nighttime fluff basically nighttime fluffy all right Probably throwing some shades and shit like that. I don't fucking know, man. I just know it's going to be different, but those videos will only be posted on uh, the Patreon because they just going to be, it's just going to be raw as fuck. It's going to feel like you're listening to a uh, party chat or like game chat or something like that for sure. It's just going, it's just going to be, it is what it is, man. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't made a video yet of it. I, it's just happening. I just wanted to let it know in this podcast. That. But yeah, man. Just main little things. Y'all take care of yourselves. Stay blessed. Peace.